you know, I'm just excited to get in there and, and watch the film. A lot of people playing. Everybody got reps. I think we went 109 plays. So it'll be great film. It's practice seven. So there's still a lot of, you know, um, things that we know we got to clean up and keep, keep developing. But it was the first time we tackled uh, live to the ground. It's the first time that we had referees. And so um, a lot of good things for, for everybody involved, coaches included, to learn from from today. So I'm excited to get in there and dive into this film and, and get better from it. It's it really it's hard to say. I, I will say that they've all had different times where they've all um, had their days, their moments. Um, you know, you'd like to see Nick, Nick not turn it over in the red zone there at the end. It's a good play by Quay, but still third and long, still can't make that decision. Now we put him in some tougher spots there at the end. I was, you know, with some your two and three offensive linemen. You know, pulled out Ernest and and. Z and some of our guys that, uh, but they've got to learn to do that. There's gonna be times in the game uh, just can't turn the ball over in the red zone. We had two of them today, um, so I, I, right now with quarterback, if we're still going in. We'll have we can evaluate this film. You know, it's hard. Like I said, as they're they're all rotating in and Blake's up top telling them who's in, and we I mean we had a good idea how many reps we wanted them to get, but uh, um, yeah, it's an ongoing process with the quarterbacks. Yeah, I feel I feel really good with the depth at running back. I mean, Javon's got to keep keep coming. Um, you know, he he had uh, he came and told me he was out of the scrimmage, um, but got a lot of work early. I mean, he's got a ton of reps all, all um, you know all fall camp with DJ not uh, going yet. DJ, you know, if it, if we had to play today, I think DJ would go. But he's definitely uh, he did he went through individual and went through some pretty good workouts the last two days, and we'll be back in practice here tomorrow. Um, it'll be nice to, to get him back and get him in the groove, but uh, it's been nice, a, a, a natural opportunity for these other guys to get reps. Um, Romier has shown flashes to be um, really good, and um, you know, um, Tremaine, and so those guys have all gotten a lot of reps, and they all showed that today that they can run the football. Yeah, I mean, four is four. At some point during the year, we'll have to use four four running backs. I think you know, I, I don't know when the last time you went through a season with your top two backs not getting dinged up, and that number four guy becomes your number two guy or whatever it is. And then those guys got to be athletes on your team that that can play on special teams too. So you're usually going to travel four running backs. They got to have a role on special teams. And um, so right now, it's like I said, through seven practices, I like where we're at at tailback. I feel like that's a uh, I'm excited about that group. Not just the, hey, we're we're serviceable, but I think there's some good, talented players in there. Pritchard, you continually put them in tougher situations, but do you feel like you're, you're closer to, to finding a starting kicker? Yeah, I mean, still a lot of inconsistencies in the kicking game. You know, you see that um, every single day. So, um, you know, this next w next week is going to be important. Of uh, it's just like a quarterback. You know, you got to come out and, and when the lights are on, you got to do it and. Uh, so we'll keep putting them in that, that, that position. I think punting has been a um, has uh, been been you know encouraged by the depth at punter. Um, you know, like where they've all three raised the ele you know their game, and it's um, they've been doing a great job. You know, and uh, bringing in Jack, the Australian uh, punter, uh, brings some different things that that he can do, and and with him, you know. It, you, you got to give him a little bit to settle in. He's never played football before, so some of this stuff you got to realize there's going to be some just getting used to. I mean, today he's never, you know, what's a scrimmage, you know, what's a, all this stuff. So, uh, but he naturally got um, an unbelievable leg. So, um, yeah, those guys. I think Nico has done a, a great job. Really, uh, this has been by far his best camp because he's really put himself in the punter situation. Uh, competing and some days he's the best guy and then you know with kickoff and with with place kicking you know he's a valuable piece did you bring Jack in because you know kind of make that, that on the run play that you think is a typical kick that you are you seem to just love and pounce well he's yeah. growing up doing that you know he plays Aussie rules football and, and rugby and um, soccer and so he he's got a lot of um, I guess things in his repertoire 
uh, that he can do. So, but his his main strength is just you know punting the football. I mean, he's got a pretty live leg, and so we're excited to see him continue to develop. Yeah, I, you know, I, I like where we're at. I mean, I not really think I haven't really really hasn't crossed my mind about August seventh the last year. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, I think sometimes it's a misconception. I mean, everybody was feeling good about our defense last year. We went to Murray and got five turnovers and scored two times, and they, you know, they were the best thing going. And uh, so it's a consistency thing. I mean, it's a we play in a great league, and there's going to be times where we're going to have to score some points. And but it's about you know. Um, I like where we're at defensively. I think that, uh, um, so I'm, a, I'm encouraged by this group. It's, a, it's the same group, but they're a year older. They've got more experiences. We've added a couple pieces. Uh, we've added some new scheme. And so I'm excited about um, those guys. We got, just like anything, I mean, there's going to be a, um, a sense of urgency to continue to get better and be locked in. And, and just like, I mean, especially in the first scrimmage, like I told the offense last night, we threw six days of install of basically our entire offense at you, not game plan and not shrinking it down. So some of these guys out there with a you know hundred different things they've been thinking about, and and we obviously we just played simple football today, but it, it gets much easier once the season starts, offensively and defensively. Here's the two calls on third and long that we're going to run, and we practice them all all you know week. We've had different substitutions, different things that look good, so we weren't game planning against each other. So there are some things that, and we know that during practice, that you know this is not the look that we want. We might not run this play if we were playing our defense, but we got to get it installed and we got to figure it out because this is going to be a play that we want to run during the year. And that, that's how it's always been in, in football. So um, I think they're all doing a good job. And, and uh, But this next week, how we come back and learn from this scrimmage, and then scrimmage two will be important too because it's getting closer. Just we we got to be consistent in everything that we do, you know. Everything uh, from when we wake up till we go to bed. It's got to be, you know. If you're a consistent, disciplined person, and you're going to probably, uh, and you put a, you know, 22 of those guys the, that are going to play on Saturday, it, then you're going to probably be a pretty disciplined, consistent uh, defense or football team, and uh, uh, working towards that. And so I think it, it starts off the field. Uh, it starts with your approach. It starts with your mindset, and because uh, you're just not going to go out there and say, "Hey, we need to be consistent today, boys," and, and all of a sudden, you're an inconsistent person and undisciplined person. All of a sudden, you, you start uh, being disciplined all of a sudden because the coach said that. So that that training's been in process for a long time through our off-season program, from the summer program, uh, till you know uh, all of our leadership training and all that kind of stuff. That's how how you coach that. Yeah, no, he's definitely a, a fun piece to have. You know, uh, he's one of those guys that, um, you know, around football, that, and he's the guy on our team that you, you want to try to get him the football. Um, he's got speed and, and playmaking ability, and he gets some touches in the return game, and he's a good wide receiver too. Still uh, have to continue pushing um, the, the small details because he's a guy that you like to have on the field. Um, all the time, uh, so he's definitely a playmaker for us, and continuing to find ways to get him the ball. Saw us last year put him in the backfield, handing the ball, throwing the ball. Um, as he grows in this offense and matures, then that's whenever you know you're able to put more on his plate as far as moving him around and those. Because that that's a lot on a kid too. You know, hey, you're at H, you're at Z, you're at X, you're in the backfield. You know, and, and not and being able to play fast, not thinking so. We want to create that for him. And like I said, as we get into game plans, that's where those things get easier for him. Like, hey, this week, here's your six six things that we're going to do. And we rep them from Tuesday all the way till the walkthrough on Saturday morning. And he, he's got a pretty good feel for that. So, uh, but no, excited to have, uh, I think he's doing a great job. I think his approach has been as good as it's been since he's been here. Well, they're making it a hard call. I think that they've all, uh, really all three. I think Stone, 
has been a has done a great job this this fall camp and uh, which is uh, which makes it even tougher I think you know uh, and and so um, yeah it's not going to be easy call for sure you know because they haven't just went out there um, and just been like oh there there's the guy you know it was good today I mean I, it didn't really take me long some people might question that why we go live on the quarterbacks in a scrimmage I guess because if I was in a quarterback competition I would have been in Coach Kill's office telling him don't put that yellow jersey on me because there's a lot of things that you just can't learn with blowing the whistle dead. I mean, we got to be able, like even Stone, we got to be able to see, you know, he's coming off back surgery. Can he hit a, take a couple hits and where's he at? And um, all of those things I think are important. So got 109 plays a day and then we still got another, another week ahead of us before school starts. And, um, but yeah, at some point you'd like to see somebody trending in that direction, but um, there's also been times where they all, you know, and you, you got to make a decision to roll with it. I, I mean, we're not going to be scared to do that either. We've got to make a decision at some point, move, move forward, uh, because I think there is a sense of uh, you have to, the team needs to know who your starting quarterback is, and, and they do too, because a lot of times you see them start to play better once they know that, you know, um, with a sense of the reps and the timing and the, the uh, um, consistent. Hey, six to get in a rhythm like that, and I understand that too. But uh, with Donald and Jacob, for uh, and then we talked, we've already talked about running back, and then Bert talking about X the plays that we run. We're obviously going to try to put the best game plan available that we can, and that we're going to do the best job we can of creating ways. But uh, it was, I was watching some Chargers film because I think they do a great job. I like Rivers in Arrowhead Stadium last year. And they go down and beat them. It's 28-21. They score with like 10 seconds to go, go for two, and they beat them. Um, what 29-28 and six, and they run, you know, just two by two, four verticals. You know, day one install for every high school, college, and pro team. And at, and when the game is on the line, they called, you know, two by two, and it was a tight throw. It was guy made the the, the throw. It was on time, and so. You know, talking about it's a, we have pieces, but they you got to trust it and you got to execute when the game is on the line. You got to be able to make tough throws and tough catches and have great timing. It's not about tricking people; it's more about execution. So we got pieces on paper and we got to continue to push them. But I, I mean, I yeah, I love the I love our team and and the guys that we got. Anything else for coach? All right, thank you. Consistent. I think we're all putting it together, you know, coming in together as a team, um, as an offense collectively. Um, we're getting the job done, doing the basic things, you know, following the run game and making sure that's effective and that'll open up the pass game. So I just feel like we're being very consistent at this point. Comfortable situations and things like that. So that way, when it is comfortable, we'll know how to, you know, adjust to those things. But you know, the guy's doing a good job of learning the offense more and, and getting more comfortable behind things. And, you know, today was the first step to doing that. So I feel like it was good for the first step, yeah. Are there role change on offense this year? Yeah. Um, I got to be more like vocal, you know, talk to the offense more. Um, lead more by doing it first, you know, instead of just laying back and watching the guy, you know, like routes and derail. So it's, uh, it changed a bit, but it's no problem with me. I'm cool with it. And the, the guys, it, they're, 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 they uh, adjust to it well. So. <coughs> yeah, I feel like we got everything. Uh, speed, quickness, catching ability, uh, Vontae, Bonnie, Qu mm -hmm. Yeah.
Chuck and Sylvie, you had a big day with number of sacks. We'll open it up for questions. Birthday. It was my birthday. I turned 21 today. Uh, hopeful. <laughs> Hopefully during the season I'll get 21. I pretty much think I just did my job. That's the big thing we preach in on defense is doing your job. You can say you had outstanding numbers, but last year a lot of players had outstanding numbers. But if you're not getting the job done, didn't really do the job. So I just think I did my job. This year I feel like we're more organized. I feel like we're more locked in, especially adding the leadership council and all of that things. I feel like it's a big focus on focus on more so what we need to do to do the right thing. Because before last year I felt like we were all over the place. There really wasn't any focus. There were some players that was in it, some players that really weren't. So this year, I feel like it's a lot more. Everybody's in, all in. Everybody's ready to go pretty much. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What really stands out is more of the hands-on, understanding who they have. Last year, I felt like they had they had their good players, and they really were just weakening the good players. Not now this year, they more so know what abilities each player has. For instance, on the defensive line, every person on the defensive line brings, brings a different skill set. We have the strength and power of Laquan Andrew, the finesse of uh, Anthony Knighton, brute strength of uh, Malik Haynes and country strength of Blake Parsons. Everybody has a little thing added. It's, everybody's a different piece. So I feel like they know they utilize us in the right way, rather than just leaving specific groups out and they put in players that complement each other very well. <laughs> that that was <laughs> Cray is one of my good friends and I, I got up and I said sorry anytime I wanted to cry actually. But pretty much I came off the edge. I knew who I was going against. Uh, they always preach one thing, know your personnel, KYP, know your personnel. We're going against Jody Parker, the new offensive lineman, so I knew I could beat him with speed, fake him out, and go inside. And as soon as I did that, I saw Correa running. I knew who he really was. <laughs> it was simply just cat and chase, you know, cat and mouse, chase and run. Simple as that. Oh, yes, especially me. Because the one thing the coaches always tell me, control it, control it. They tell me, like, control my aggression, control my energy, because I'm a very big energy person. So, like, it's hard for me to slow down during practice knowing we're not tackling. So, the moment we get to really let it out and go, it's all gas, no break for me. I think it's the same for everybody else. Everybody enjoyed it. Everybody was in it. We were just ready to go. We wanted to get that first hit. Hit the pads. Hit it. It's kind of hard to play football and just run around and two-hand touch each other. So, I think it was a big day for everybody. <laughs> just excited. Just excited. It was a fun day. Oh, I, no, no, we can't do that. Show some energy, but sack dance, we don't want to get any unneeded penalties. So celebrate with my team, get back to the sideline, get ready for the next play. No sack dance. I'm not getting a fail. <laughs> Thanks, guys.